Hi, uh, this is Liban Afi. I'm with Soil Structure Software, and uh, this is a demonstration of our shallow foundation software. So, um, with this program, you can do uh, bearing capacity either in English units or SI units. Uh, you can do stability analysis for a uh, rectangle uh, foreign or a square foreign having a pedestal or you could do just a uh, continuous foreign or a square foreign uh, reinforcement design so let's start with English units and let's say we have a continuous foreign let's assume the width of the continuous foreign is two and a half foot the length would obviously be one foot let's say the foreign depth due to frost is four feet so is 150 feet uh, 150 psf the friction angle is 25 degrees unit weight is 120 and the ground water table is let's say seven feet below the ground surface okay so if you click on here you could see that the depth is is uh, four feet okay all right now the program or uh, oh an ultimate safety factor should be 3.0 that is to uh, translate ultimate bearing capacity to allowable bearing capacity uh, for shear strength we divide the ultimate by three to get an allowable so if we use the Terzaki method the NC NQ and gamma these are the three bearing capacity factors uh, they're given the you know due to Terzaki's equations on the left column and due to Vesic on the right column and ultimate bearing capacity uh, Terzaki says 11,253 PSF and Vesic is a little bit more 12,726 you divide those respective numbers by three and we get allowable bearing capacity of 3751 and the allowable wall load is 9.4 kips per foot so in the geotechnical report we would give allowable of 3751 now if we were to do uh, SI units for example we can do the same thing and let's say it's still continuous and it's 0 0.6 meters wide and the embedment depth is 1.5 meters okay and uh, then we want if we go through that we would get a uh, allowable bearing capacity of 249 kilopascals okay so that would be the uh, allowable bearing capacity method now this program does not do settlement analysis you'd have to go into soil structure settlement analysis program to do that and if you wanted to look at the computations you could see the unit weight for gamma for water is 9.8 feet in radians these are the Trizaghi computations these are the basic computations uh, okay so let's go back to English units <clears throat> now with this uh, English let's say it's continuous footing so let's come back to two feet all right uh, then we have reinforcement design so we could say let's go with number five bars and let's say the concrete f prime c is 3.0 fy for the rebar is 60 ksi uh, foreign dimensions so now we go back the first foreign dimension is 24 and then 24 inches two feet and the next length is 12 inches so we'll come back here and we'll say the foreign dimension is 24 the dimension 2 is 12 inches these are obviously interchangeable uh, <clears throat> let's say we had a column dimension that's uh, 6 by 6 we'll put in there and let's say the foreign thickness was 15 inches okay then we'll have axial dead load now if we go to bearing capacity it says you can put up to 7.3 kips per foot allowable but this is based on shear strength not settlement analysis so let's take that into half instead of 7.3 let's say it's 3.65 kips uh, and it's all dead load clear cover for the rebar is uh, three inches and let's say we need uh, two bars and two bars so parallel to dimension one we have two bars uh, two rebar and then uh, on the short end we have two so now the allowable net bearing capacity uh, is 
let's see what it was it's uh, 3.66 and the program copied that here but due to settlement you may be able to reduce that to 2.5 okay now you'll have the service level is 2.01 ACI load factor is 2.42 which is less than 2.5 KSF so you're okay and these are the dimensions now if you did not meet the design moment or the ultimate moment or the design shear ultimate shear then some of these would be red so let me show you let's say we had number four bars and there you could see on dimension two you do not meet the uh, minimum reinforcement ratio which is 0 0.0018 now if we said we only have one uh, well we cannot put one but anyway so that would show you now if you had uh, the foot in thickness for example it was only 10 inches okay that will take care of it but we really need to stay at 15 so let's go back to number five bars okay so in this case we can say if we have a two foot wide foot in and a four foot deep uh, two number five bars would be plenty and then uh, on the short end you'll have actually let's uh, in the short end you'll have also two so basically one number five transver transverse every six inches and two number five bars continuous and the clear cover from the bottom would be three inches okay so similarly we can do a square foreign or a rectangle or a circular foreign so if we tried circular foreign and let's say the foreign is five feet okay uh, and the depth is two and a half everything else being equal you could see that we could go to 3428 allowable uh, bearing capacity now as far as stability so let's come back to uh, let's say we have a continuous for it and it's it happens to be uh, not continuous let's say rectangle this time okay and we have a four foot by seven foot okay and let's say it's three foot below ground that's the embedment depth so this is what it would look like okay it uh, it would look like that so now uh, <coughs> the allowable bearing capacity obviously terzaghi would not work because the depth is not equal to the width of the foreign so terzaghi bearing capacity uh, calculations do not apply we have to use basic so allowable is 4400 so now we can go into stability and let's say uh, let's come back and see it's four and seven so we would say the length is seven feet okay the foreign width is four feet we said the foreign thickness was 15 inches 1.25 and we would say the concrete unit weight is 0.15 kcf soil cover um, let's see what we have it's three feet actually it's the soil cover d3 uh, unit weight for the soil is 0 0.12 so it's 120 uh, pcf and let's assume that the passive pressure coefficient is 3.0 the sliding friction is 0 0.35 uh, additional surcharge we don't have any it'll be zero and allowable bearing capacity i think we had four 4.4 so let's just keep it at 3.0 for now okay and you would look at all of these checks the maximum uh, soil pressure is 0 0.865 for gross and if it's net that means excluding the weight of the foreign it's 0 0.355 uh, you can look at the loading diagram if you wanted to see and uh, this is this is what it would look like uh, that's what we're designing for okay and it, it has the P and the H and the M uh, everything you need okay so uh, that's how you would use it and if you want to design the pedestal you'd have to put you can go up to four pedestals on a foreign so there you go so pedestal one pedestal two three and four okay but most of the time we only have one pedestal uh, so this xp and yp uh, should be the the nine inches you know and then lpx so you'd enter all these the loading data the p is the vertical load hx is the shear load 
uh, due to dead load and then uh, due to live load HXL and then HXW is the shear due to wind and then we come back and we say uh, shear load in the y direction due to dead load due to live load and due to wind and then you'll enter that and print so if you want to print you could say everything that's available or if you are a geotechnical engineer you'll just say print bearing capacity say setup and then we can go into a uh, uh, PDF and review it and uh, so that would be let's see here let me try to fit this in right there okay so this is what your shallow foundation bearing capacity it's only one page it gives you the it's a rectangle it gives you the dimensions the width the length the depth and then it gives you the soils uh, value friction so phi c and gamma and factor of safety is always three and then it will give you the results Terzaghi doesn't apply it will give you the basic results and then at the end it will give you a cross section it's a four foot uh, width and the length is seven and the uh, embedment depth is three feet and these are the uh, references that we used okay so if you need more information you can go to uh, soilstructure.com and it, the program name is shallow foundation okay so if you click on uh, this it will say go to the website and it will you will end up uh, going to the uh, website with soil structure you'd go under uh, structural software and then say shallow foundation and there it is you can uh, you can see shallow foundation it has the description and everything well thank you for your time